My name is Jørgen, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Rovic. Today I will present to you the TMS C300 extended module, the shelf card, and our software tool, the Rovic Assist. This top module picks up shelf cards with these vertical bolts. We have also extended the top module, so you'll be able to carry longer cargo on your cart and still reach the emergency stop. The team at Rogue has made the safety configuration with the right safety zones to support this solution. And this is included on the USB stick. All Rogue top modules will come with the Rogue Assist software tool. This will generate standard missions for you, so it's fast and easy to get started. There are different Rogue S cards which can be used with the Mir 250. They are all picked up in free space instead of using docking stations. This is the standard S card 300. This is the s card 300W with the extra set of wheels. This makes it easier to maneuver around both for human operators but also for the robot. In each top corner is placed a threaded hole for mounting equipment. This could for example be our pallet range or your own custom equipment. Both of these cards can be used with the near shelf carrier. We are using the s card 300 extended. This card is designed to carry longer cargo. The extended wheelbase gives a better tilt stability. The car has six wheels to give better maneuverability. One of the wheels is electrically conductive to avoid building up electrical charges. I'll start by unboxing the module. We have the folder here with the user guide. We have a USB stick with a digital user guide, safety uh, configuration and also the software to set up the system. First I'll remove all the screws here and then so we can remove the top plate. With the screws uh, removed we can remove the top plate here. Then we need to remove the top plate from the robot as well. Due to the counterweights here in the corners, I have removed the frame of the pallet and then I need an extra hand to lift the module over on the robot. You've got to align the top module with the mounting holes on the robot. With the module in place, I can start connecting the cables. I take the safety connector, put on here and then the first antenna cable. In the other side we can remove the yellow cable tie. So we take the safety connectors, we have the 7 pin and the 6 pin, and they add this down here. Then we have the input and outputs. The one with two wires is going into the input. And then we can add the uh, antenna cable. Then we can mount the bolts to secure the module to the robot. Then we can mount the top plate again. The s card is easy to assemble from the box. Just add the four bolts and tighten the four screws. I have now set up the safety configuration from the USB stack and I'm now ready to set up the first mission. So first, I will add the position marker telling where the card is placed. Give it the right direction. Give it the right name. Rogue Software Assist. In here I select a new docking station, select the right top module and create equipment. Then I can find the right marker and create docking station. 
then I go to the new robot, go in, tell it that it's an extended version, and then I select mission to pick up the card. With the missions generated, we can also change footprint with ease and pick up the card from the position we just added. We hope you found this short video useful. If you want to know more about this solution or any other road product, go visit roic.dk.